let's go. Shouldn't have done damage, but I did do damage. Be in the present moment with yourself. Hello you guys, welcome to another video. It is currently 2.11 and I literally just like got ready. I put some makeup on, I got dressed because I was literally like a hermit this morning editing for hours because I just wanted to get my work done. Got all my hermit editing done this morning so it's like a weight lifted off my shoulders. Um, And yeah, so I'm just about to film like a sit down video that's actually going up this week. So not the week that you're watching this, but the video's already up, if that makes sense. Because I was supposed to film this last week, but I just didn't get the chance to. So I gotta get that filmed and then I'm just filming this vlog today and then I gotta go potentially get some ingredients for dinner and then I want to go shopping with Madison because she's graduating this year my little sister is graduating this year you guys it's crazy like I can't imagine her not being in high school like it's so freaking weird if you guys have any younger siblings and it's like they're just growing up so fast it's it's weird like it's so weird we're three years apart so it's not like that big of an age gap so yeah so going shopping with her later the malls close at seven so we gotta make it there before seven and it's already two and I got a bit of shit to do so I should get filming because I got a film this video but yeah you guys I did my nails okay like I redid them this weekend as you can see I did like a cute flower on this hand okay and then I attempted to do a cute flower on this hand like an orange one and then it ended up like a literal blob because I was painting with my left hand which I'm not talented in doing so it ended up like a literal blob and then it just fell off so I think I'm gonna get Madison to like help me redo that flower because it's actually does look really cute I'm really actually trying to keep up with my nails also I made this cute ass ring over the weekend if you guys can see I don't know I just love it it's just so cute i bought like a whole bunch of beads on the weekend but i want to make more so maybe i'll like teach you guys how to make them um but yeah i'm gonna go to filming because let's go okay you guys change of plans we're actually going to the grocery store first just because i just want to get that over with so that my dad's not waiting to make dinner because he needs the ingredients joel is driving my car because he finally got put on my insurance i'm not always the one driving us around so i was like you know what you should get added onto the car so that when you're driving then i can vlog you know what i mean it's so weird seeing you driving my car like it's so weird being in the passenger seat of my car but it's kind of great Right, you guys so we just got to the mall it's currently 4 30. madison needs to look for a what do you need to look for i need to look for a commencement dress i need to look for a grad mask dress i need to look for earrings bracelets rings well rings and stuff is gonna be easy because it's gonna be cheap ones i'm gonna buy i'm not gonna buy like but yeah i need to look for a dress for her when they go and take their pictures and stuff i need to look for a dress not fancy just like a cute fun summer dress because i don't really have much in that department so that's what i i need to get if i can find anything but forever 21 is back in town did you know that they what they re reopened forever 21 where it's in, in this mall let's go let's go forever 21 used to be in canada and then they went bankrupt and they left and they were literally here forever though like i don't remember there never being forever 21s here and they're finally back i didn't expect them to come back so it's kind of like very unexpected because there was like no warning we were just at the mall and we we're like holy shit forever 21 is back so that's actually good because i feel like they'll have a lot of selection there because they're usually good with like little yes, cute summer that's dresses good. maybe they'll have like earrings and shit yeah they'll have stuff there like forever 21 just always always comes in clutch okay let's go because we're wasting time. yeah we literally the mall closes in two and a half hours so we gotta go really I'm in love with these shorts so I think I'm gonna get them because I've been looking for a cute pair of jean shorts and I think that these are it like they're the perfect length they're kind of longer which I really like and I really like the wash on them as well so yeah I think I'm gonna do it It is seven o'clock and we made it out right on time. There was a little moment in between where Madison was like, it was literally like five, 
8.30 and Madison was like, they close at 6. So we had a panic attack. And then we were like rushing for half an hour. And then I'm like, I really don't think they close at 6. So then I searched well, it up again. Well, I looked and then it said 6. I was like, there's no way. So I searched it up again. It said 7 and then we asked like an employee and they said 7. So I'm like, thank God we needed that extra hour because we actually did well. You pretty much got everything you needed. I got clutch, earrings, rings, necklace, commencement outfit, grad mass outfit if it looks good. I still need to find a shirt for commencement though because I'm wearing like a pantsuit and I need a shirt. I need to figure out what shoes I'm wearing. You got a lot. I got a lot too. I'm like addicted to shopping. Oh. I'll show you guys at home. Excuse me, home. Where's my This is like a little tradition that we both have. Whenever we come to this mall, they have like a yoga and cruise. I don't know if you guys know what this is. It's frozen yogurt and they got rid of it. They had it in the mall in like Coquitlam. I'll bet you know where that is, but, and they shut it down. But every time we come here, we get this and I got the non-dairy version and it's still so good and with cookie dough on top. Oh, so freaking good. It just has to happen every time we come together. Let's go, bachelor tonight. Cheers. Zinna. I'm literally starving. Oh, I can't wait to eat. You guys, this is literally the best like recipe ever. So basically it's just pasta, like rotini I think it's called, with tomatoes, arugula, and chickpeas, and pesto as a sauce. And let me tell you, it's literally the best thing ever. Like it tastes like heaven. My dad made it. Yeah, I didn't make it, but it's so good. She literally puts her paw on me constantly. Oh my god, you're so cute. Like, but she's not gonna like this. Like, she's not gonna. Oh my god. Like, she's looking me. Like, I love you so much. I can't resist. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I'm sorry. It's currently like four o'clock right now. So that video that I said that I was going to film yesterday, I just filmed today, like just now. Like I just finished filming it just because I just didn't have time to do it yesterday. I was just like, go, go, go. We went to the mall and then I didn't have time afterwards. So it's like, whatever. But anyways, to sum up my day, I didn't really do much. I watched Portugal's soccer game. If you guys didn't know, I'm Portuguese with a little bit of Brazilian. So we watched the game, they won 3-0. So if you guys are keeping up with the soccer games, let me know who your guys' team is. And then I just worked like the whole day and then I just filmed, so really nothing interesting unless you guys wanted to see a montage of me literally just sitting at my computer but it's probably not interesting so we went shopping yesterday i did do some damage unfortunately shouldn't have done damage but i did do damage i need to show you guys a haul obviously i'm literally wearing this shirt that i got but i did get some cute stuff i went to the mall to get like a dress but i came back with too much shit which is fine so i'm gonna show you guys <laughs> You're welcome. POV, me moving my mirror to get better lighting for my little mirror triangles. <gasps> and voila. Mirrors are actually like, actually really heavy, okay? So here's the dress that I got for Madison's grad thing to take pictures with her in her with. I'm obsessed with the green and I love just how flowy it is. It's like literally the perfect summer dress and like I'm not just gonna wear this once. Like I can reuse this for any summer day. I'm in love with this. It was just like $30 from Forever 21, so really good. Okay, now here comes the spice. Here comes the added spice, okay? I step back. Okay, we got the bulky ass shoes and at first I wasn't sure about them But now I'm like really digging them. I know it's a lot of contrast to the dress, but I think it like makes a statement I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below But I think I'm gonna wear it regardless because I really like it Oh my god, I actually really like them. Okay, so I'm just covering my nipples here because this is kind of see-through. So I'm gonna have to wear some sort of padding underneath here. But this is just like a little bralette. As you can see, it has like ruches on the bottom, which is so freaking cute. Um, but it's just so cute. Just like a tank top to throw on. And then the shorts, you guys, they're actually really freaking cute. So yeah, I finally found like a nice ass pair of jean shorts. And they're like half the price that Ritzia's were. So these ones are were $50 from Dynamite. And then this top is from Forever 21. Okay, so this is the next type of top I got. This is from Sun. Irons. It's a really random store in my mall. But yeah, this is like amazing quality. Like this is literally the quality that I would get like at Aritzia. Like it's such good quality. I actually got a size medium in this because the small just looked way too small. So I wanted it to be like a little longer so I can wear it like as a little tank top. And it's like brown. It's so freaking cute. Right? So these shorts are the next thing that I got. They're from H&M and they're just, they're an extra small, but they're super long. But I kind of like that about them. These are perfect for just lounging around the house in the summer, putting them on for just like, who knows what, something random. Okay, so here's the last thing I got. These are from H&M as well. Okay, let's just take a moment to appreciate how cute these are. They're so comfortable and they're just, I don't know, the flare. I wear these with like some cute Air Forces. Oh my God, they're so freaking cute. I love the flare. I love it. Oh my goodness. It's out of whack. I love it. Today, it was raining when I woke up and then it was sunny and then it was raining and then it was sunny and then now it's like windy and raining again. Good news is, is the weather is looking bright. Like I said, it's going to be sunny. So I can't complain. Cannot complain. And my sister's grad is this Friday. So it's 
currently Tuesday today. So it's gonna be sunny for her grad, which is amazing because if it rained, that would have sucked so bad. But the rain is holding off, so we're all Gucci. And you also wouldn't really want it to be like too hot either because you wouldn't want to be sweating in your dress. That would be kind of gross. So I feel like it might be just the perfect temperature for them. So I'm so happy. I put on these shorts from H&M because they're just so comfortable. This is my little house chilling fit right now. Um, I'm actually really hungry right now. So I think I'm gonna make something for dinner. It's like five o'clock. She really likes to be like by the window here. She likes to look out of it and I open like my screen for her. So she likes the fresh air. She's so freaking cute, I can't. So I know I mentioned making like rings earlier. So I'm gonna show you guys the beads that I got. I got yellow, blue, pink, purple, and green. How freaking cute are these colors? I'm obsessed. So I definitely wanna make more rings. This one kind of didn't turn out the best, but I'll learn as I go. I will link the TikTok, like the tutorial that I learned to make this ring for you guys. So if you guys wanna learn how to make it, I'm not gonna even try to show you. Um, so I'll put the link down below if you guys wanna match me. For reference, um, I'm just gonna like, give you guys a bead size that I used. So this is like the bead size and everything. So take a screenshot of this if you guys want to make them and then I'll get the wire So this is the wire that I used and here if you want to take a screenshot of this as well Okay guys, so it is currently 10:35, and oh my god, I thought that was gonna fall that really freaked me out and I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys before I like get ready for bed and everything that I put a limit on my tiktok you know how you can like set limits for your apps like how much time you spend on them so if you guys want to do it you basically just go under settings you go under screen time and then you go see all activity and then you can do it under there and I put 30 minutes a day and the reason I did that is because I just realized that like in my monthly goals that I wrote down I jotted down that I wanted to read two books this month and I haven't even read a full book yet so I realized that I need to cut back on my social media I need to cut back on my phone instead of spending that time on TikTok I'm gonna be spending it reading you know what I mean because I feel like TikTok is just so addictive and you can just be scrolling for literally hours which is fine which is completely fine but for me personally to accomplish my goals and what I want to do I need to just do a little less TikTok for this month at least 30 minutes a day people my challenge is to set your TikTok to 30 minutes a day and do it with me so that we can do it together and then like read a book or something and also one of the other reasons why i did that is because i saw in this video i was listening to a podcast i think i forget where i heard this but basically they were saying how like because of social media like social media is amazing but like there's also downfalls to it of course and they're saying because of social media we're never not never but we're not always in the present moment it's harder to be in the present moment for example if you're go to if you go to starbucks you order coffee and you're waiting for your coffee and in between that when you're waiting for your coffee it might take five minutes of you waiting for your coffee so while you're waiting for your coffee what are you gonna do you might well, at least my first instinct is to pick up my phone and scroll through instagram look at my text messages look at my emails distract myself like go on my phone and pass the time, right? So I'm guessing that's probably your guys' instinct too because it's just like this generation. But they were saying that like, why don't you like resist going on your phone and just like literally be in the present moment with, with yourself because who knows what can come out of that? Like what if you spark an idea when you're just there thinking or just being in the present moment? What if you see something that you would have never saw or you have spark an idea for creativity? So that really like stuck with me and I'm like, that is so true. Like, I always distract myself in between those five minute windows or those little windows that I'm just waiting. It's like, what if I didn't distract myself and I was just in the moment? Like, what can come out of that? So it's just like so cool because I never realized that like, wow, like I really do distract myself on my phone a lot. I feel like I can just take so much more value out of waiting and being in the present moment. And even if I don't have like a thought or idea or something that comes out of it, at least I was in that present moment and just soaking it in. And it's like kind of funny because you know when like, like sometimes if you're waiting in line or you're waiting in traffic and let's say you're waiting in traffic for 30 minutes or you're waiting in a lineup for 30 minutes and you're like oh my god the time could not have gone slower like it was the longest 30 minutes of my life because it's so boring but think about it those 30 minutes that went by slow that's like kind of amazing that they went by slow because life is passing us by so fast like at least for me like life is passing me by so fast try and like cherish those times where time kind of stops and feels slow cherish them because you're never going to get those 30 minutes back life is constantly going so those 30 minutes that were the longest 30 minutes of your life you might look back on at the end of your life and be like i want those 30 minutes back you know what i mean so it's just like i guess a whole different or like a different perspective that you can look at things rather than looking at them in like a more negative way looking at them in like a more positive way and really um being grateful and being aware of the space that we're in the time that we're in <gasps> baby what are you getting up 
Um, but yeah, this is the end of the vlog. I'm gonna get ready, go to bed. I just had my London fog. If you guys missed the vlog with the recipe in it, I will link it down below because this is my go-to drink literally almost every night. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my handy dandy reading light over here and stay off my phone and read after I get ready for bed. Just read until I fall asleep. Yeah, that's that's my challenge to you guys. Present moment is all that you have. So from this book, there's this really good quote that really stuck out to me. So I'm gonna read it to you guys and then reflect on it a little bit. If you are depressed, you're living in the past. If you are anxious, you're living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. And I struggle with this and probably a lot of other people do as well. Just like sometimes living in the present and realizing that worrying about the future isn't going to change anything. If anything, it's gonna make it worse. And the present moment is the only moment that exists. Think about it. A moment that just happened one second ago, it doesn't exist anymore because it just happened. Like now is the only time that exists. Like right now, like present moment, like right now. Sometimes I'll like get in my head about like the future or about money, which all correlates to the future. And I just haven't tried to really shut myself up. Like just say to yourself, like shut up, leave and let's rezone back in the present, present moment. Even if it's just taking a breath and, you know, resurfacing yourself because I know it's like, especially around my age or even younger or a little older than me, it's like, it's kind of an awkward stage in life where everyone is telling you like, you have to figure out what you're gonna do. You have to build for a stable future right now and da 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 da. Um, so it's, it could be very stressful and worrisome. So the thing that I've been doing is just trying to bring myself back into the present moment and realize that the future doesn't exist right now this only exists so what I do now can affect my future my thoughts now is going to affect my future so why would I worry why would I think negatively about my future because that's just that's just gonna make everything worse so there's no point of doing that so if you guys struggle with worrying about the future or worrying about how things are gonna turn out just know that worrying about something it's not gonna change it everything is meant to be it's gonna fall into place exactly the way that it's meant to be just remember that every second every single thought you have is creating your future reality so whether you believe you can do something or whether you don't believe you can do something you're right so just keep that in mind and remember that never worry because there's really no need to i say this a lot but we are on a floating planet in the middle of the universe why are we worrying <laughs> like so dumb. We are so lucky to be alive right now. That's all we should f be focusing on. Let's live life, baby. Okay, but anyways, on that note, I'm gonna end the video off. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave any video requests that you guys want to see down below. Go follow me on Instagram, like this video. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful for all of you and your sweet comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.